nothing equals either combat or experimental flying. And there's something about risk taking that uh, you don't think anything's going to ever happen to you. It just only happens to other people. You like to think that I'm smarter than the airplane is and I'll know how to handle whatever situation comes my way. That isn't always the case. If you have a malfunction at the wrong place at the wrong time, you're dead. They killed an inordinate amount of the people that were test pilots in that time. It was way before computers, way before it had to be trial and error. He was a very learned guy. There probably isn't anybody out there who knows more about fighter airplanes than Bob Hoover. They ventured into the unknown with equipment that the pilot had to fly it. Bob was really good, and he did survive. He could tell in his gut and in his hands and the seat of the pants what the airplane was doing, whether you've got a safe airplane. He provided uh, pilots with confidence that they were smart enough maybe not to try what he did with it. If they had to, they could, could probably live through it. He was our hero. He is the master of flying the feathered edge of the flight envelope. I don't think I'd be alive today. Bob didn't take me under his wings. Tells me when he thinks I'm pushing the envelope too much. Uh -huh.